With all-wheel drive and a potent 306 horsepower power output, the AMG-engineered A35 Formatic Hot Hatch will give its brand a stronger presence in the core part of the Hot Hatch segment. If you want a very quick hatchback that can do almost everything, is this where you should start your search? So here we are with yet another fast hatch offering four wheel drive and a turbo engine putting out around 300 horsepower. It's such a familiar recipe, isn't it? But this is a popular sweet spot in the shopping rocket segment that Mercedes has never properly addressed. Uh, but that changes right here. The A35 is a more accessibly tuned take on the A45, the world's fastest hot hatch. But Mercedes claims that it's much more than just a warmed up version of a company rep's A250. Now, true, it does share the same basic M260 series 2-litre engine as an A250, but to that unit, the Alfaltabac engineers have added a twin-scroll turbocharger that boosts power to 306 horsepower and enables 62 miles an hour from rest to be reached in just 4.7 seconds on the way to a top speed that has to be artificially limited at 155 miles an hour. This unit is also relatively efficient for a car with this kind of performance uh, in restraint use it's capable of returning 38.7 mpg on the wltp combined cycle and 169 grams per kilometer of any dc rated co2 for sharper handling than the old first generation A45 model could deliver, uh, the Mercedes AMG brand has here installed a faster reacting formatic four wheel drive system, uh, bolted on sticky Pirelli P0 tyres, added in a clever AMG Dynamics torque vectoring system for extra cornering stability, and they've made the body and platform of this car far more torsionally rigid. Plus, they've included a quicker shifting speed shift DCT seven speed paddle shift auto gearbox setup and that features more urgent control software and case hardening for the first three ratios to allow for tyre smoking starts and that'll be aided by race start launch control mode. To get the most from it all you'll want to play with the various settings of the AMG Dynamic Select Driving Mode system. Uh, there are four main ones, Comfort for normal motoring, uh, the new Slippery Mode for when it's wet and either Sport or Sport Plus for when you're pressing on and you want to hear the sports exhaust out back popping and crackling like popcorn in a microwave. Uh, exhaust note is one of the parameters that are influenced by uh, Dynamic Select. The others, as usual, are throttle response, steering, gear shift timings, and if you paid extra for the AMG ride control system, adaptive damping suspension field too. And now you'll need that setup because the standard ride quality is very much on the firm side. The end result of all this isn't quite as dynamically complete as some rivals, but if you want a premium badge contender in this class, that can let its hair down a bit, then the A35 could be a perfect pick. If you're wanting a really quick hot hatch, you'll probably have a very definite idea about how you want it to look. Should the styling be subtly sporty, like, say, a BMW M135i? Or do you want an extrovert street racer, like, say, a Honda Civic Type R? Well, to some extent, this Mercedes can be specified either way. In the standard form we have here, it looks very little different to an ordinary AMG line trimmed A-Class model. Uh, if though you add in the optional AMG aerodynamics package, the visual aggression is ramped up a good few notches. Although Mercedes does hope that even in that form, its cool brand equity will prevent the appearance from coming over as too max power. Okay, enough with that. Let's see just how much trouble the Mercedes AMG brand has taken in differentiating the interior. Get comfortable behind the huge, overtly flat bottomed AMG wheel and the vents with their multicolored lighting and the Technofest screen display that festoons the top of the dash certainly distract your attention with the fact that the A35 specific changes made here are slight. The ambiance though is without doubt a highly premium one and it's aided by little touches like double stitch door cards, uh, stainless steel pedals and the 64 color ambient lighting package. The key 
design feature lies with the lack of the kind of cowled instrument binnacle that almost every other car on the market has to have. Instead, two elongated square color TFT screens are provided, one for the center dash infotainment system and the other for the instrument dials. Now, these monitors are both seven inches in size as standard, but they can be upgraded, as they have been here, to 10.25 inches in size if you pay extra. Uh, the central one is your main interface for the brand's clever MBUX. That's the Mercedes-Benz User Experience Multimedia System, and it includes hard disk sat-nav and the brand's latest, but sometimes rather frustrating, Hey Mercedes voice control system. Okay, time to take a seat in the back. A uh, six-footer might still struggle a bit to sit behind another adult of similar height, but overall there's significantly more room for knees and legs than there was from that previous A-Class hot hatch. And the boot, well, at 370 litres in size, it's 29 litres bigger than the trunk of the old A45 model. And thanks to the two-section rear lights, the loading aperture is 200 millimetres wider than it was with that old car. And the luggage compartment floor is 115 mils longer. Uh, fold down the seats completely and 1,210 litres of total capacity can be freed up. In summary, if you want a really quick hot hatch that's a bit less straight-laced than the usual premium badged offerings in this segment, then you'll probably like the A35 a lot. It's a Mercedes, and it's a lot of the things a car like this really should be. And for us, that's an appealing combination.